Hi, today I want to show you how to launch a program on a PC using Google Assistant. Uh, here is my PC and it's connected to my TV here. And here is my Google Assistant JBL Link View uh, with Smart Display. Okay, now I'm going to use some of my Google Photo Maps uh, to, for the demonstration. I've already created a video showing how to create those uh, photo maps. The photos are placed on the Google map and showing the journey, the path of the journey. So now I'm going to tell the Google Assistant to launch a map. Hey Google, tell Big Boss to open map of China. Okay, launching open map of China. Okay, so now you can see this is a map of China and uh, I was there for holiday and this, you can see the photos are placed on the map. There are small preview here. Scroll in. Then I can click on that, for example. And there's a preview here. And you can also see the description here of the photo. And if I click on that one, then I can see the full view of the photo. So now I can navigate through the map. Now I can tell uh, Google Assistant to close the window. Hey Google, tell Big Boss to close window. Okay, launching close window. Okay, you can see now the map has been closed. Let's try another map. Hey Google, tell Big Boss to open map of Taiwan. Okay, launching open map of Taiwan. Okay, now you can see here is the map of Taiwan. One more thing I want to show you is uh, what happens if I ask Google to launch a map uh, which doesn't exist. Hey Google, tell Big Boss to open map of Vietnam. Okay, launching open map of Vietnam. Unable to find Vietnam map. See, you can see the message over there and that return to the speaker. Okay, that's all about the demonstration. And now I'm going to explain to you how, what you need to do to get this works. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set all this thing up. All the details you can find it in the pushtorun.com website. But I still like to give you an overview how th does that thing work. Because you have to set up several things on different websites. This is the diagram I have drawn. So and it just simplifies the idea how this whole thing works. This is my uh, JBL Google Assistant. And when I send a request to the Google Assistant, it go to the internet somewhere. Of course, it goes to the Google server somewhere. I didn't put it into the diagram, so I just make it easy because that, that part we are not interested. So uh, I just make it go straight to the IFTT platform here. From here, it will send a note to the push bullet. And push bullet will push the node to the PC. And on the PC, we have to run the program called push to run. Uh, the program will take the node based on whatever come in and uh, run a Windows command. So I will show you this part later. 
So let's start with this part, I, IF Triple T's. This is the website ifttriplet.com and uh, you can log in with your Google account. What I have done already is uh, create an applet uh, with Google Assistant and in the applet I call it tell Big Boss to do something. And here you can see what do you want to say. This is the phrase I was using in the uh, Google Assistant. After saying hey Google, then I said this. The dollar sign is a placeholder. Whatever come in, it will just take and send it in the note, pass it at the end. It will go to the push to run program on the Windows PC. And uh, this is what you want the assistant to respond. Uh, in my case, I just say OK launching and here it's a placeholder. And at the end here, this one is saying optional, but it's, this is quite important. This is basically the keyword, uh, the push to run will filter it and know where the node come from. You can see here, it's saying uh, this action will push the new node to your push bullet inbox. So that's the reason we have to go to push bullet. In push bullet, you, you can log in using your Google account. Uh, what you have to do is come here, go to setting and account, go to create access token. Uh, when you click on it, it will generate a very long string. And that string we have to use in the uh, push to run program. I'm going to show you now. Now I'm on my PC where I'm running the push to run program. This is the icon for that. The first thing you have to do is, this is the important part. You have to go to actions and options and push bullet. And the token you have created on push bullet website, you have to enter here. It's a long string. And this is the, uh, what I call a keyword on the IF Triple T website uh, at the bottom saying optional. This is exactly that string you have to put in here. So that's how the push to run identify what no where the node comes from. And then you have to add those actions here. Uh, what I have already added is uh, for showing the map here. So I call it show maps. Listen for uh, like open a map of Malaysia or something like that or open the map of something. This is a placeholder for the country name. The whole uh, phrase come from uh, the when I say hey Google tell Big Boss to open map of something for example. And here is the Windows command I can put in what it's supposed to do. In this case, I'm actually running the Chrome uh, browser with the URL pointing to the map. I created a script to allow different map with different URL. And this is the directory where I run the script. And this is I'm telling it the uh, push to run using a parameter. And this parameter will pass to my script. This is my Google map.bat script. And I, I've at the top here, I define some array uh, for the URL of my maps, all different maps. And this will come from the dollar placeholder, basically what I, uh, the country name come in. And this is the line for the command uh, calling the Chrome browser using the map URL. And in case the map doesn't exist, it's not defined on the top and this will return saying unable to find map. The idea is using the script, I can use the same command for different input uh, of the country name and according to the country name, uh, different URL will be picked from the array and run the Chrome command, launching the Chrome browser using the URL, go straight to the map. That's how it works. 
And the other one thing is I've got another action here called close window. Listen for close window or close the window. And it, this time I'm not running a command. Uh, push to run allow uh, me to pass keystroke into the active window uh, instead of running a Windows command. I simply put an active window here and this is the key combination I'm pressing to close the window. I've got you to get an idea how this thing works. It looks like a little bit complicated but if you get through all this it's quite simple. All the details is on the push to run setup page and if you have any question feel free to put in comment. I will try to help you. I hope you find this video useful. If you like the video please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.